says, Mr. Man, little Miss says. Good morning and welcome to the Mr. Land Breakfast Show. I'm Mr. Clever. I'm Little Miss Star, glamorous personality of stage, screen and radio. Thank you for all those lovely fan letters. I love the one from Mr. Topsy Turvey, except I can't read it. Oh, wait a minute, I'll try reading it upside down. Oh, that's better. Dear Little Miss Star, please come to my party. Last week. <laughs> Thanks anyway, Mr. Topsy Turvey. I'll try to make the next one. And now for our first guest. Mr. Chatterbox. Yes, that's right. I'm Mr. Chatterbox. Chatterbox by name, Chatterbox by nature. Always been like that, ready to drone on and on and on about gardening, the weather, household hints, the neighbours. And that reminds me, haven't we had an awful lot of weather lately? Looks like a good year for lettuce. Uh, yes, 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 yes. That's very interesting. But what I'd like you to tell us very briefly is this. With Christmas only days away... What's the feeling like in Mr. Land? Is everyone excited? Is everyone excited? You can say that again. No, don't bother. I'll say it. Is everyone excited? I'll say they are indubitably, undoubtedly. My word, yes. Mr. Tall is decorating the tallest Christmas tree you ever saw. And what can I say about Mr. Small's tree? That's very small. Well, for Christmas tree, that is. Little Miss Late is late. Oh, I haven't done any Christmas shopping yet. Oh, look at the time. Mr. Muddle doesn't know whether he's coming or going. Yes, I do. I'm going. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm coming. Yes, I'm definitely going. I think. And little Miss Scatterbrain can't even begin to think about Christmas until she finds her hat. Oh, dear. Where did I put it? And now for the latest news from Father Christmas's workshop at the North Pole. in Mr. Snow. Well, my friend Father Christmas and his helpers are very busy indeed and they're right on schedule to deliver everyone's presents on time. Isn't that right, Father Christmas? Oh, well, indeed it is, young man. My helpers are doing a grand job and my reindeers are raring to go. Isn't that nice? Yes, only a few more days to Christmas and the whole world is so happy and cheerful. We're getting an urgent news flash from Mr. Nosy. The rest of the world might be happy and cheerful, but here in misery land, things are really bad. I think I can see... Yes, here's the Queen. Have you anything to say, Your Majesty? Cheerful? Did you say cheerful? You must be joking, and joking's not allowed in misery land. Except by my court jester, and he doesn't get a lot of laughs. She's right. Everyone here is incredibly miserable. The jester tries his best, but it's no use. <laughs> oh, here's a funny thing. <laughs> Do you know how you can tell if an elephant has been in the fridge? Hey, hey, hey. By his footprints in the butter. <laughs> Great. That one always gets a laugh. Now, here's a riddle. Who's got a white beard, wears a red suit, lives at the North Pole, drives a sleigh with reindeer, and has three legs. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Father Christmas. I lied about the three legs. <laughs> oh, gosh, your royal exquisiteness. I was just trying to spread a little Christmas cheer, you know. Enjoy the holiday like everyone else does. Bah! I hate Christmas, but what can I do about it? I know, I shall summon my knights. Meet the horses of darkness. My three 
villainous and most miserable of nights. Dark night, a stormy night, and a starry night. Oh, it's funny. I, I don't see any stars. Ooh, yeah, now I do. Listen to me, chaps. Everywhere in the world, except in the misery land, people are in a happy holiday mood. It's time someone put a stop to all that. Someone with an audacious plan to ruin their Christmas fun. What do you say, Meg? You tell them, Your Majesty. Chuck it to them, Your Graciousness. Good. You're beautiful when you're angry. Good. Here's my audacious plan. But first, I'd better get rid of that nosy reporter. And this is Mr. Nosy on his way back to the studio. Hmm. I wonder what evil deed the Queen is planning. Never mind. It will take more than three bad nights to spoil our Christmas. Let's get an update from Father Christmas's workshop. <laughs> Let's all systems go, Mr. Clever. The presents are wrapped and Father Christmas is just finishing his address list. No problem. Problem? Ha! You're wrong, Mr. Snow. We're taking all those Christmas presents back to Misery Land to make sure all you Mr. Men have a miserable Christmas. And then we will live miserably ever after. Right. And we'll see to it nobody leaves this place to spread the alarm. Get away with this! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Just you wait till the Mr. Men hear about this. Oh, they'll sort you out. Some job. How come we don't get danger money? There! That'll hold them! It's awfully quiet at the North Pole. Too quiet, and not a word from Mr. Snow. Calling the helicopter news team. Mr. Snow may be in trouble. Can you help? Mr. Impossible here. We're on our way. Look down there, Mr. Strong. It's the miseries, and they're getting away with all the Christmas presents. We can't stop now, Mr. Impossible. We must get the Mr. Snow and Father Christmas. Are you sure you know where you're going, Storm? It all looks the same to me. Mile after mile of snow. We could be going round in circles. Me? Go round in circles? Never. The Mr. Men have landed, and here comes Mr. Strong. Oh, thanks for coming to our aid, but I'm afraid you're too late. We'll never get a new batch of presents ready in time. It's impossible. Uh, Mr. Impossible. Not for the Mr. Men. Just harness your reindeer, Team Father Christmas, and stand by. Mr. Rush and Mr. Busy, you know what we have to do. Miss Magic, wave your wand and let's get started. Everything around me, please take heed. All start working at double speed. <laughs> Le 
let's face it, Starry, we are lost. And we're in the middle of a snowstorm. And the petrol gauge says empty. Mo, mo, mo! Why don't you try looking on the bright side? No, we're supposed to be miserable. There! Look! A house! Our troubles are over! Welcome to my workshop. Great Scott, it's the three miserable knights. Oh, well, well, I'm glad to see you and second thoughts and are returning those presents. Happy Christmas. Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. And, and so say all of us, a very happy Christmas. Christmas. That's what I like, a happy ending, thanks to the Mr. Men. Any comment from Mr. Chatterbox? Oh, sorry, I'd love to stay in chat, but I must hurry home and hang my Christmas stockings. However, I'll join you in wishing everyone a very merry, well, not just a very merry Christmas, but a happy and prosperous new year. And that means everyone out there watching as well all over the world. So we could actually be talking about hundreds and thousands, well, maybe millions of people, which is enough to fill dozens and dozens of football stadiums. Then what with all those people doing standing around in football stadiums while they should be the home decorating their Christmas tree? I don't know. A very happy Christmas to you all. Yes. Yeah. 